Hey there, friends, and welcome back to Let's Play Classica. When we left off, I totally died to, um, you know, Mage Konami. So, I teleported back to Wolin. And I think, if I remember correctly, we were supposed to sit at the inn. And then, you know, our trader Vance could tell us what we're supposed to do next, and whether or not we need to go to Fendra, which I'm assuming, yes, we need to go to Fendra. Because that's the only place left. Excuse me, we'd like a room for the night. There with me, ma'am. There's a strong possibility we won't spend the night. I have some business at the garrison and they merely need a place to rest. Oh, sir, that's not a problem at all. Please, right this way. You know, yeah, I'm this lowly grunt that uh, everyone just does things for. I wonder how much longer Vance will be. It's been about two hours already. I hope nothing happened to him. Hmm. Ethan, why are you giving me the silent treatment? I'm not giving you any kind of treatment. What's that supposed to mean? Ethan, I'm hurting too, okay? You don't need to bottle it all up and turn your heart to ice. Look, Leah, I just don't want to talk about it right now, okay? Fine. Whatever you decide to give a damn again, let me know. Leah, it's because I care I can't bring myself to say anything in the first place. But she never believed me. Yeah! Yep, that's true, she wouldn't. And it probably doesn't sound very good after, you know, you killed your mom. Oh no, because she forgave you, and that's... Yeah, you should just keep that down. Vance was lying to us. If only I could figure out what his moment, motive is. Why did he tell me that Aunt Miriam was still alive? I was too worked up to realize it at the time, but she should have been revived from my spell at the very least. He was also trying really hard to find out more about my necklace, too. Maybe it's got something to do with that? I never considered it to be anything more than a keepsake from my parents, but the more I think about it, the more I realize I don't know anything about it. Um, Leah? You're such an inconsiderate jerk, Ethan, you know what, that? Ever since we were taken by that murderer, you've been making distance between us. Well, what? No, I haven't. Leah, the only reason you think there's distance is because we don't agree on Vance. Don't. Shouldn't that have been a didn't? Was your apology at the rest stop all a lie? I meant every single word I, sent at that that I said at that time, Leah. Maybe I'm just not able to trust strangers as easily as you. I don't know. I can't get my thoughts organized when it comes to him. Everything he's done so far says we should trust him wholeheartedly. Yet at the same time, I find myself unwilling to expose my back to him. You just can't trust Vance, Ethan. Why don't you just confront him about it? I tried that in the beginning and you ripped me a new one. That's why not. And so the mumbling begins once again. Jeez, Leah, for as long as I've known you, I've always put up with you constantly hitting me and putting me down. Fifteen years, they apparently mean nothing to you in the form of trust. Whatever, I'm done with this talk. I'm going to get some fresh air. Ethan, wait! Ethan, I told you, wait. No, I'm not your servant, Leah. If you want something to give commands to, get a dog. Maybe then you'll stop treating me like some pet that can't think for itself. I haven't been treating you badly, Ethan. I just want you to be interested in me. You never gave me the time of day in Wollin unless I acted the way I did. All I've ever wanted was for you to want to be with me. Don't leave me now. What? Revelations. <laughs> so maybe that Vance thing was a little just a girly crush. She must be pretty angry still. Can't believe I said something like that to her. I should apologize. Hey, Leah, I'm s you're back! I'm so sorry, Ethan. What? Why are you apologizing? I was the one who said something rude. 
No, I was the one being awful. I'm really, really sorry. Please, don't stay mad at me, Ethan. I'm not mad, really. I came back to apologize. I'm sorry for saying something so terrible. You never treated me like a dog. Maybe not like a dog, but I was mean to you. I'll try and be nice here, okay? I, I don't know how long it'll take, but bear with me. Of course. Friendship. Well, I guess love ship. I wanted to ask you earlier. Have you ever heard anything about my necklace? What do you mean? I don't know. Vance was seemed really interested in it, but I don't want to talk to him about it at all. Now that Woolen is... Well, I don't have anyone else to ask. I don't know anything about it. Sorry, we'll just have to go find and lost find the lost villagers. Maybe one of them might know. I guess so. Hey, um, Ethan? Did you ever get that talk about courting and stuff? This is sudden. Y yeah, I got it once or twice. It was kind of embarrassing. Yeah, it really was. I hate having I hated having just everyone twist my arm about it day in and day out. But I thought I should talk to you about that. You know, just to clear things up. Yeah, um, sure. Can't believe this is actually happening. I'm so happy. Okay, Leah. Compose yourself. You can do this. Just tell him how you feel. He cares about you. Oh, this is so embarrassing. She's been standing over there a bit. Should I say something? No, let's let her organize her thoughts. Vance is going to come in, isn't he? Vance, you... Ah, yep. <sighs> okay, here it goes. Actually, Ethan, I just didn't want to give the wrong impression. You know, since we're going to be out exploring in the world, there will be a lot of people that we might meet. There could be a chance that we find someone we like and want to be, uh, closer. Ah, oh, you dummy, it sounds like you like Vance now. Yeah, I can understand that. What's she trying to get out now? I'm confused. I'm just trying to say that we've known each other forever. Why is this so hard? Vance, so, I didn't know you'd returned. Sorry, Ethan, we can talk about this some other time. I think you got what I was trying to say anyhow. Even if it was a bit garbled, he must know I won't... <laughs> Oh, Leah! Leah! Oh, no. Yeah, that doesn't work. You gotta be clear. So, what's going on, Vance? Did you find out anything? So, she was trying to tell me she wanted to be with Vance. And then she expects me to find someone else, too. Oh, you dummy, Ethan! But it totally makes sense why you think that. I would have thought that, too. Actually, I found out a lot more than I expected. For good news, there's no wanted posters up for you or myself, so your escape did not seem to be considered a vital issue. That is good news. What about the captain? Was he there? The garrison is almost completely empty at this point in time. No, it seems the captain has been here and gone, and he's taken most of the soldiers with him. They've headed east to the mining town of Cavington. Cavington? How did we get there? A ship is the fastest way to get there. We'll take one out of Fendra. There will probably be a short stop at Apevian? But otherwise, it's directly east. Okay, are we heading out now, then? If you two are ready, we can rest first if you need to. Well, it's late. Let's rest up first and head out in the morning. We should be healed up. We are, oh, we are almost level 13. And we got a nice big miscommunication. If you're going to learn anything from this game, learn that you can't, can't be garbled. You gotta say what you mean and make sure that you're understood. Communication is key. That's where all the problems start. A lot of crap happens when there's no communication. In fact, it's probably like 90% of the plots of any given situation or media. There's a book. Oh no, 
a big love triangle. It's because we don't know who loves who. Oh no, a movie. Same thing. Okay. So we gotta go back up to... Where is this place? Come on. The mountain. And then instead of going in, we get to go to the right. That place I couldn't get to earlier. So they stopped me. They said, no, no, no. Well, it's this way. I think I got this map down. Hopefully I'm not screwing myself over by not taking the path. This should take me back. Yes! I'm so good! So good at maps. Alright. We can save it. And find our way to Fendra. Oh, there's a little guy again. Nada. A little hole! Hit level 13 for the kids. Mm. I want to get a lot of battles, but I also want to see if there's anything interesting around. So that was weird. I fought something called a petite fairy in my battle? But it ran away. up again. Oh, hey, Trish just. Alright, yeah. So maybe if it pops up again later, we can look at it. I don't know. I guess we'll see if it ever pops up again. Nothing in the way of Trish just. Hopefully I didn't miss too many. There it is again. Fairy. I don't know, is there something that I can make it stick? Ooh, imbue weapon. Ally gains holy attributes. Oh, that'll be so good for when we fight. What's his face? The um Konami guy. Mm, the magician. Because he's weak against holy, and then I don't have to waste my healing time just on one holy. Hmm. Ah, ran away again. I don't know if I'm just not fast enough, or am I supposed to hmm, not target her? Lost our linear path. I think I just passed a. Yep, there we go. Oh gosh, I'm surrounded. Where's this path supposed to be going? This Fendra? Awesome! We made it! I just don't get it. Why are you belaboring the subject, Ethan? Indeed, I cannot think of any other way to explain this to you. But it's so dumb! I can't see a single good reason as to why they don't sell other towns' keystones. 
because they are difficult to make and the cities and towns are not willing to split the profits of selling them. That's just my point though. The towns could buy them from each other and sell them at a higher price or something. That way they still make a profit and it would make life so much easier. You have a merchant's way of thinking, Ethan. Maybe someday you can open a business just like that. I think he'd make a good merchant. You really think so, Leah? Yeah, I do. Every everyone at Woolen likes you a lot. And you're a really hard worker, too. That's all well and fine. However, I believe we have other pressing matters. But beyond whether or not Ethan would make a good merchant. <laughs> yeah, now that we're in Fendra, what should we do first? Well... We should probably head to the harbor and see where we can go from there. It's a good idea, Leah. While we're here, we can also turn in this Chimera Paw. I forgot we had that. Yep. <laughs> I forgot we about blah, 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 forgot all about that thing. Ugh, it's been in our pack this time. All this time. I bet it smells awful. 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 Here he's still holding smelly things, Ethan. So we'll let you be the one to turn it in. I, I don't understand. What? Nothing, Vance. Just don't ever try and pick fell shrooms without gloves on. Come on, let's just go there, Ernie. Oh, we got smacked. Ouch! I'm so sorry. I'm in a terrible rush. At least you fell on your big cushion. What? You little piece of... Take care now. I miss you already. Hey, get back here. Are you okay, Leah? I said I had a big butt. I'm sure she's fine. More importantly, are you missing any belongings? Missing any- No, I have everything on me, I think. Look, and be certain, I'm fairly sure the little brat tried to lift something from you. No, get your paw off the camera. Fine, I'll look, jeez, it was only an accident. Ethan and I used to run around like maniacs all the time when we were younger, too. We never got accused of that rotten little turd. He stole our keystone from Morriston. I'm gonna twist his ears off the moment we find him. He's probably hiding somewhere in the slums just south of this district. We better find him before trying to book a passage on the boat. Haha, <laughs> poor kid has no idea what he just stepped in. I almost feel sorry for him. Hi, you came out of nowhere. Goodness, you all look like you could use a long hot bath. Are you going to offer it, or are you just going to tell me I'm stinky? Save. Hello, Fancy. Laura Nightmaker. I can't think of anything worse after a night of drinking than waking up next to someone and not being able to remember their name, how you met, or why they're dead. Whoa, Laura. George Burns. Actually, it only takes one drink to get me loaded. Trouble is, I can't remember if it's the 13th or the 14th. Now you're old. You should have had an old man voice. That's okay. Ross Levy. Drinking provides a beautiful excuse to pursue the one activity that gives me pleasure. Hooking up with fat, hairy girls. That's weird. The hard part about being a bartender is figuring out who's drunk and who's just stupid. This the in part? It's nice. Again, really, really great work on the uh, out the uh, the layouts. There we go. Layouts of the houses. Hello. Mm, nah, I'm good. Pepper, cure sleep, cure silence, paralysis. Ooh, healing potion. We're gonna get more of these. Whoa, not that many. Gonna get more of these. And I think that's it. But we can try to sell things later, but. Okay, south goes to the place we're supposed to go. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Hello there, how can I help you? 
Okay, these seem to be really good, I guess. Windshield, good. I don't think anybody can wear a shield. Spear. Short sword. Agility goes up to... I don't think so. I don't want that. Spirit and agility go up. Oh, that's what... No, okay, that's not good either. Lesser wands. Hmm. Alright, these are not good. We don't want that. We want what we have. This is what? Accessories? Jenna, hey, how can I help you? Hmm. These don't look really that great either. What does this do? Attack? I could put the attack up. But I kind of like my rusty necklaces too. Oh, she has bows in her hair! I'm gonna be you. I'm gonna pretend to be you now. I sell accessories that I didn't buy. Mm, a dog! Woof! Cat? No, no, another dog. Woof! More animals! Kid. Greta. Hello! Okay. Piano. No concern. Oh, a downstairs. Whoa! What the heck? What is this awesome basement thing that has a well in it? Why is there a well in a basement? can't go in there. Maybe I can go later? Good lord. And then the upstairs. Is it as impressive as downstairs was? Hi. Jeez, Wolf, I'm trying. Oh, sorry, hello. Is there anything I can help you with? Don't have time to talk to you, leave us be. It's not very nice. Well, they're interfering with important business. My studying isn't important! I'd much rather prefer to talk to these people. What are you doing, anyway? Keeping you in line, Wimp. Get back to work. Yeah. No, talk to me. <gasps> I can't talk to the cats. No nyans. Hello, all are welcome here, but you would be advised to stay away from Sir Yuri and Su Sir Wolf Wolf Wolfram. They're fighting again. Please try to avoid tracking dirt on the rugs. Thank you. Oh, look at this. Beautiful. Probably in one of those houses. It'll be tedious, but we have to search each of them until either we get some clues or we actually find the little thief. We'll find him, and if he's already sold off that ring, we'll sell him to buy it back. Yeah, I feel bad for the kid now. Maybe I can calm her down enough to spare him if we manage to get the keystone back. Would be smartest to just go use the keystone to go to Woolen? Want something entertaining to play? Here you go. You can access it from the items menu. Tetris game! Fun little mini game you can try out. It'll be introduced later in the game, so this event will not be here for the final product. Alright, thank you. Aww. Look at this! Look at the clothes! I don't think I've ever seen that in an RPG Maker game. Is that weird? Oh, it's so cute! Details, man, details. Excuse me, ma'am. Hmm. I don't want to talk to a young, pretty little thing like you. That just makes me feel old. 
That's a bizarre response. You're too young. I've got nothing to say to you. Ugh, this is getting us nowhere. I don't see this little thief anyway. Let's just go. I hope that he hasn't sold it off yet. Now, where's a voice that gets my saggy skin <laughs> grandmother and her friend when they get together and they become dirty old ladies and I love it! I want to be a dirty old lady when I get old. Oh, and he's a handsome one too. Seems like you have an admirer, Vance. I'm thrilled to know this. However, she more than likely does not know where the thief is in any event. So the gorgeous bundle of man flesh has got something, got something taken. Well, I might be the one who did it. But it'll cost you to get that information. Please, it's very important to us. We already know it who took it. It was a little blonde-haired boy. Shush, child. I've got nothing to say to you. <laughs> she won't say a word to us. Fans, please find out what she wants. We have to get the keystone back. Madam... What must we pay in order to get the information that you have in regards to the location of this blonde-haired thief? Oh, just hearing you talk is wonderful, but that's not enough. I want to hear you call me beautiful names. <laughs> of course you are. Go over the top, say a few nice things, or get a bit turkey. Oh... Honestly, I feel like real Vance would probably say some things. He probably might even go over the top just cause. He seems like a good liar. Let's get a bit dirty though. Boom! Like an exotic fruit that needs to be tasted before anyone can truly appreciate the treat before them. It's like he's saying it's so flat. <laughs> it's flat! Once the fruit has been tasted, you gain an appreciation for the delights that come with maturity. And it's all that I can do to refrain from partaking the delicious treats that is before me. I can see him just kind of tapping his foot and, like, yawning as he says this. Mmm, now those are some words I'll be putting to good use this night. Ah, I think I might throw up. You've more than earned this bit of information. You won't have much luck finding him by referring to him as that little blonde boy. Nah, you'll need to use the name Pockets. I suggest go- nothing. What happened to her name? Oops. I suggest going to the armor shop that's located southeast along the bottom portion of here. Pockets usually sells his findings there. Let's get going, Ethan and- Vance, I think we have a lot to think about while we look for pockets. So much to think about! That was the best. I'm curious of the other ones, the other options, but that was the best. I swear the laundry multiplies every time I turn my back. Was that it? Like, I just found it straight away? Or could I have talked to anybody? I know my body's like a battle axe, but I'm not for sale. Let's see, agility is up, but not attack. Hmm. Gnarled staff. That's good for Ethan. Maybe the sword to Leah, and then I can get that, um, the shield. Equip. Sword and shield. What? My attack still goes down? Ugh, this is a two handed sword. God dang it! It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Back to the battle axe. I bought that stupid thing for nothing. It's 
fine. Nope, it's fine. I will use it for something else. What? I don't know. I'll sell it somewhere else. Give me some. What can I get for you? Ah, uh, you don't have anything interesting. You do have flash pellets if I so chose, though. Gotta watch your pockets and bags around here if Pogs doesn't raid it, one of the transients will. What do you want? How rude. I was only saying hi and saying what you had on your mind. Well, you're not on my mind, but I can think of something else I'd like you to be hot. Whoa! Sorry, we're in a rush. We don't have an hour to wait for you to find it. Holy crap, Ethan! Ah! Bah. To hell with you all, then. Ah! Burn! Sick burn! Ethan! Ethan! Oh! Okay, I'm done. I'm done. So good. So quick-witted. Wanna go out and play, but Mom grounded me. Not fair. I didn't know I liked how ugh, the lighthouse was off limits. Doesn't matter. That was the best comeback ever. Anything can happen now, and I'd just be happy. You're a bounty hunter. Wow, you're not at all, you're not all that much older than me. Make it quick. I'm busy. I don't know why Yuri didn't just let me go to let's go out to the poor animal and capture it alive. I can't believe he's making me reward someone for killing it. Here's your reward. Circus Ring. Hey! Hey! There's a downstairs. I wanna go to the downstairs. Oh, you know what though? Even if that downstairs leaves nowhere interesting, like I couldn't get there, I like that it's there because now I know how they got out of his little kiosk. Sometimes they do that in games. There's no exit, and it makes no sense. Some of the rewards they offer for completing the bounties are outrageous, wish I blah, blah. What did I get? I didn't even... I don't think I even paid attention. Did I just get money? I do got a Tetris game, but I suck at Tetris, so that's not happening. Defense can go to... Leah. HP up can go to him, because he needs it. Oh no, SP up. Uh, she can have one, so she can attack more. Attack up will still go to Leah. Vance gets nothing anymore. Screw you, Vance. I think that's it. Oh, I have things to sell. That's right. I'll sell those later. Hello, if you wish to serve his majesty, Gunter. His name is Gunter. <laughs> Seek out the scoundrels that are causing unrest in the kingdom. These are the current what, be, uh, beings with bounties on their heads. Is it us? Chimera, last seen in the mountains north of Morriston. Blamia, deep within the mountains of north of Morriston. Do you have a bounty, please see Gr ah. Hello. Gunter in the corner should be able to help you. I can go after another bounty. I will say that for you guys, however. Rough being a sailor's wife. Never know what kind of storms or sea monsters may pop up out there in the unforgiving sea. Hmm. Go with him. Pub. Two hours before I gotta check in. <laughs> Still got time for another. Aren't you kids a little young to be in a bar? You're not though, soldier. Anything I can get for you? Everybody likes him! Ah. Alright. Just because I'm sitting another girl doesn't mean I swing that way. Just passing time until the next sales. Don't mind my friend. I wonder if one of those girls will look over here. Probably not. Wow, you're really knocking those back. Are you doing okay? Yeah, I'll be alright. Just waddling and self pity about this girl. I'm in love with this, but she don't want to have anything to do with me. Stop it, that I'm barely making things meet. Possibly a moat in the house. That's a good reason to drink like that, I suppose. Still not better than the- Ooh, more clothes. Suppose I should stop drinking and head to the harbor before the captain leaves me behind. 
Okay, so that's the harbor. But I can go down here. Wait, is this the harbor? No, it's just more, more houses. This place is huge. Another pub? What? Enjoy errands, thank you. Okay. How many pubs does this place have? I thought this was a big town, but this might be a... The only thing small towns have is alcohol. No, it may not... Or, no, it may look like it, but this isn't a store. Might as well head over to Joey's store if you need something. I drew the short straw and have to clean up the sty today. Feel like helping? I'd really appreciate it. Uh, sorry, we got things we gotta do. Yeah, sure. Another pub. They pay and tips may not be the best here. Oh, the pay and tips. Bah, but something, you didn't read it. But I love hearing these people talk. Ugh, oh, you hate your- You're Carrie! <laughs> you hate your job? Why didn't you say so? There's a support group for that. It's called Everybody. And they meet at the bar. Feel sorry for being such a good name. Feel sorry for- I don't recognize some of the names. Like, they're very, very vague. But, alright. But now, for now I'm recognizing some. Um, feel sorry for people who don't drink when they wake up. That's the most they feel all day. People who drink to drown their sorrow should be told that sorrows know how to swim. And live. I'm guessing that's a poet. I don't like poetry. I really hate poetry. Yeah, Aaron Howard, responsible drinking? Now that's an oxymoron. Hey! I like some poetry, just not a lot. I think I skipped all these houses, didn't I? No, maybe not. Just this one. Hey. Has a blonde-haired little boy by the name of Pockets been in here recently? I have no idea who you're talking about. Now you buying something or not? Listen. We've been through hell as it was already. We are already told that you're the first person he tries to sell things to. So you either fess up right now or I will climb over this counter and shove ev- Whoa! Okay, okay, I get your point. Yeah, he was in here trying to pawn off a keystone, but I don't have that kind of money to buy that sort of thing, though. I sent him away. You should try the item shop in the Upper West End from here. It's getting irritating. Okay, let's head to the next friggin' goose. Alright. I have been playing for a little bit, so... I'm gonna go save it instead of finding Joey. Well, or Joey. Finding Pockets. We'll find him next time. Um, but we did... Uh, yeah, I've been playing for a little bit. I'll have to make another episode. I was hoping I could finish it now, but this is going to take a while. So, next time, plan. Find pockets, go on the ship, and boom. I don't know when. Then we get to go to the next place. Um, until then, I will see you in the next video. Bye.